I might have forced Christina's hand and pushed her to do the exact opposite. When I saw what Christina said to her res filter, my head exploded. Mom, it sounded like she was going back on our word and thinking about keeping our baby. And what did Molly think? She agreed. And she's worried too, so she drew up documents that would terminate Christina's parental rights and she took them to Christina to sign. I'm guessing that didn't go over too well. No, Christina flat out refused. And now, now I'm even more worried because she always knew that she would have to sign a termination of rights. It's the only way that Molly can adopt our baby. It's the only way that Molly could legally become our child's mother. So what message is Christina trying to send by just not signing the papers like we all agreed? I'm so sorry to hear all of this, TJ. This should be a happy and exciting time for you and Molly. No, I, just, I just I don't know where we go from here. Well, at least you can be assured that the law recognizes you as the baby's biological father. That gives you a lot of rights. But what about Molly's rights? Christina's the egg donor and our child's biological mother. What if she refuses to sign those papers, Mom? I wish I had an answer for you, TJ, but this is not a subject I'm very knowledgeable about. Not to make things even more contentious, but maybe it's time you and Molly consulted a lawyer. Now that, that's what I'm afraid of. The last thing I want is for my baby to start its life in a custody battle with Christina. But I'm worried that's where we're headed.